Trash Talk, episode 102. I got a special guest here. Man, tell him who you is, man. Man, y'all know it's Star Bucks, nigga. King Bucks, nigga. I'm about to get back with my King of Homicide shit, you heard? Y'all know what's up. I ain't even got to say my name. All y'all got to hear my voice for real. Okay, okay, okay. Tell him where you from, Bucks. Y'all know me. From the South Pole, nigga. South and Homicide, Harper. You know what I'm saying? Big 400 shit. We from NBA, man. I was right. Y'all know where I'm really from, but we in our NBA shit. You know what I'm saying? Big New Britain Ave shit. Feel me? From motherfucking Montrose to Hillcrest, nigga. Pull up. Fuck you talking about? Big Empire piece of shit. You hear me? Tell us a little bit about that neighborhood and how it was like when you was growing up. <coughs> well, <coughs> niggas be sleeping on the South. Feel me? Niggas always been sleeping on the South. Niggas just now starting to give us our little respect. Niggas on the north moving over, coming to our shit, all that shit, feel me? Like, basically, regular shit that go on in the hood. Like, but we from the south end, so we was stealing cars before we was getting money. You know what I'm saying? We was stealing cars, breaking into cars, doing little stupid shit like that. We getting into mad little fights and shit, going to the mall, fighting niggas. Big West Farms Mall and all that, feel me? Then start shooting all that shit, regular little shit, man. Get into the bag, feel me? All them little drugs, serving all them little crackers we was going to school with and all that. Making them come to the block. Regular shit. Our shit on the border too, so like, even like our main street where the project's at, that shit on the border of West Hartford and Hartford right there. So if you get to live in those projects, you get to go to West Hartford school. So we got to go to school with some of them crackers, then go back to the project. We texting them, having them come to the hood, feel me? And most everybody that lived over there was from the hood for real already. Like, I'm from Broad and Kenneth, and I moved over there. Mostly everybody that's over there all migrated over there, you get what I'm saying? So we got niggas from the north, niggas from the south, all that. So it started being a little wild, little hood. Slap though, nobody don't know about that shit unless you go over there, motherfucker. Okay, okay. If you could say anybody, who is your favorite rapper of all time? And why? I gotta say 50 Cent. 50 Cent, big G unit. Cause I was a G unit when I was little. I had all the G unit shit, all that. Feel me? I was fucking with 50. And like, 50, 50, a boss. Like, he a real boss. And he elevated. You get what I'm saying? Like, 50, not just a rapper no more, for real. Like, Nigga, he got all of us watching these shows and all that shit, you get what I'm saying? Like, home really doing shit, like, home, home that nigga, he do his thing. So, I say out of all time, man, he still dropping music, still got shit that we listen to. If you watching Power and shit, nigga, you listening to home song and you know it, you get what I'm saying? Like, he's still relevant, so, I say 50. Absolutely, absolutely. If you could say anybody... Who is your favorite artist in today's generation? Damn. Damn. Kodak, my boy Cody. My boy motherfucking Cody, you heard? My boy Yak Attack, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that kid, you heard? Hey yo, real nigga shit, we could have been superstars. You know what I'm saying? Remember we was jacking cars? Now it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch, you heard? <laughs> Cody, man. That's a fact. Okay, okay. I fuck with Kodak, man. Shout out to Kodak Black. Fuck all that. Give us a couple bars, Buck. Let us hear something. Just a couple. Like four or eight. You get what I'm saying? Like. Couple bars. I don't even want to rap no more, man. I don't want to rap no more. I ain't been rapping like two years. <laughs> like. I'm old and rusty. You want me to rap? All right, all right. No we gonna we gonna save that for us for for part two coming on later on. <laughs> maybe season three, season four in the summertime. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm doing my rap shit this year, man. I'm doing my business shit this year. This year about branding. You heard? Like Benny said. You know what I'm saying? All Last right, bet. About branding. This one about expanding. You know what I'm saying? Last year I be doing my little branding shit. Now this year, and we gotta expand. Bet. So speaking of the brand. Tell me about that coffee cake movement. Oh, What's yeah. that on the table right there? What's that? What's yeah, that? Yeah, you already see. I got the coffee cake going on. Big busting, you know what I'm saying? This that Starbucks coffee cake, you know what I'm saying? I got my own little strand, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like what everybody doing. 
Feel me? Like, respect everybody getting their money with the weed and everything. But, me, I try to dare to be different, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to push other niggas shit. I'm trying to push our shit, gang shit. Feel me? Our shit. We got big dope boy buzz, you know what I'm saying? Tap in. Dope boy buzz 93, you know what I'm saying? It's Big Liddy. We got dope. For the dope boys, you know what I'm saying? We got buds for the dope boys, you know what I'm saying? That shit that them niggas that's getting all that money, feel me? They only wanna buy that top flight class shit. That's what we got that hey, okay, okay. Dispensary coming soon, smoke shop coming soon. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Shit about to get done up right now as we speak. So Bucks, what do you like to do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to get money, of course. I like to fuck. Like, I love the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I like to spend time with my kids, for real. Like, I like to spend time with my kids. You niggas only spend enough time with your kids. Like, I do this shit for my children. I'm trying to get right for the babies, you know what I'm saying? So mainly, I try to do everything so I can spend time with my babies and shit. What's your most expensive purchase that you made last year, 2021? Last year, 2021, my most expensive purchase. <sighs> what did I really buy in 2021? I have to say, I have to say I started two businesses. I have to say I started two businesses and um, I spent over $30,000 on them shit. So I say that's the biggest shit I spent. I've been trying not to spend too much big bread. I'm trying to do shit like I said that's gonna be good for me and the family and everything. So I'm trying to do some grown man shit right now. I ain't buying no bullshit. Okay, okay. Tell me about that chain, man. That shit big as hell. It's what? a little light shit. Okay, okay, put it to the kid. Let us see it, man. We little light shit, little light shit, little light shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this shit for a minute, though. Like, I had this shit before everybody was popping out little VVSs and big chains and all that shit. Feel me? Before niggas was getting money and everything. Fuck <laughs> Ben had this shit. I'm going everywhere with my shit, all that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing this shit. So, my shit old. I ain't, like I said, I was going to go buy another chain, but I'm waiting to my little businesses. Do a little something, you know what I'm saying? Where I could, my next change, I don't even think, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm about to do no shit like niggas doing. I think I'm gonna do something different. Okay, okay, okay. What made you start rapping? What made me start rapping? I already was motherfucking, always, always been freestyling. Always been freestyling and shit. So like, when me and my niggas would be chilling or anybody be chilling out here, those beats and shit, I start freestyling. Niggas be like, yo, that shit hard, that shit hard. So I be playing with it or whatever. One day we went to the studio, I went to the studio with my niggas. They was recording songs and then I just jumped on the song with them. My shit ended up being the hardest verse on the song. As everybody start playing the back and shit, niggas be like, yeah, 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 it's hard. I'm like, man, fuck it. I start seeing all these rappers and shit doing this shit. Listening to them, like, mainly Chief Keith and them. They the ones that inspired me the most, for real. Because, like, they was, like, around my age. And they had came together as a unit. You know what I'm saying? Right. For me, as a team on some gang shit, doing the same shit we was doing, saying all the same guns I got, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? They right. doing the same shit. So I'm like, shit, I could do that. Like, I don't even got to try to do that, nigga. Talk about my life, nigga. Right, right, right. That's what made me step on that shit, bro. Bucks. Bucks. What is your opinion on other Hereford arts? We got a lot of heat. We got a lot of fire. I ain't going to lie. Like, the thing about me is I ain't like everybody else. Like, I can't be no hater. I ain't no hater. I support niggas for real. Like, like, if you an artist, I go to a lot of y'all stuff, bro. Like, while I'm super lit, everything, like, I'll go to y'all shit and support. Niggas don't be supporting, like, I know that. I say that about us. We got some fire artists, but niggas don't be supporting. And our artists, like, kind of lazy. We don't be doing nothing with our shit. We just play that shit for the cars and shit like that. Name a few hard for artists that you listen to on a daily. Of course, I listen to my boy Bass, Big Well, 
You know what I'm saying? I listen to bass. I listen to 80, of course. I listen to gang. I listen to Esco, Esco Fire. I fuck with crack. I listen to Trapo, Cuzzle Fire. Fucking, I listen to Zay Bucks. So I, I, as Zay, I be, I, I'm one of the reasons why Zay start rapping again. I always tell Zay, yo, get back out here. Fuck, won't you get back out here? Yo, you as Zay, like, yo. It's a couple of young Southland boys. I heard um Ty and them. There's a few niggas. I listen to a couple of niggas. I got a couple of niggas from Runaway. Oh, I listen to Cool Q. He fire sax fifth. Fucking who else I be banging? I be banging everybody. Like, I get everybody a chance. I, I was banging um Chapacito for he went down. Feel me? 60, I listen to Krills, I listen to a bunch of niggas for real, I be listening to, tapping in the nigga shit, you know what I'm saying, if you got some good material, I listen to your shit, fucking I listen, feel me, damn everybody man, free crazy like, damn everybody, quiz money, all of them, like, I listen to everybody shit. Absolutely, you know, we got a lot of talent in the city, man, a lot of talent, do you see, do you see yourself, Making music with anybody in Hartford? I see myself making music with everybody in Hartford. As long as I can fuck with you, as long as you know what I'm saying? As long as I know what's up. As long as ain't nothing ain't too far going that I don't fuck with you, I'm willing to make music with everybody. As long as you're doing something with this shit, though. I'm not trying to make music with artists that's not doing nothing with this shit. To do a song that you just gonna keep in your backyard and play in the house and shit with your girl. Like, I ain't gonna. Okay, okay. Tell me about that whole OBH ordeal, man. Like, tell me about it. The streets want to know. We want to know what's going on, man. OBH Starbucks, man. Let us know something, man. What's going on? Oh, well, y'all already know, man. Like, big OBH. I'm always forever say OBH because I fuck with bro. Like, bro, ain't have to fuck with me. Ain't have to look for me like nothing. You get what I'm saying? So I fuck with bro. Free ad, free the men, free all them niggas. You get what I'm saying? But they told me, even personally, like, and if you tap in the leak more, so you hear leak say the shit too, like, niggas really not trying to rep the mafia right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit going on with it. You know what I'm saying? And indictment shit and all that. So I fuck with niggas for signing me and everything. And my niggas, I'm always fuck with OB, but ain't nobody really like moving. For the mafia right now, for me, for OVH right now, cause it's a lot of wild shit through it. But bro, about to get his second chance on the rebound, for me, he about to come back home, bro. Say, so he about to come back home, he about to beat that shit, you know what I'm saying? On chance two, so that's what it is. When I'm come back home, just get litty, I'm definitely a fuck with bro for anybody, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to ARI, shout out to Dark Love, man. Shout out to the whole OBH, man, for the guys, man, for the guys. Oh, my nigga, get up, we get right back to schedule program, you heard? Absolutely, absolutely. If you could make a song with anybody that's lit and famous right now, who would it be? Somebody that's lit and famous. It'll, anybody. Anybody. I'm probably, if I didn't pick Kodak, like I just said, Damn, then it's gonna be like Lil Baby. It gotta be Lil Baby or NBA Youngboy. Why? Cause they got real fire music and they like the ghost right now. Damn, or dirt. Damn, that's kinda hard, but like I pick one of the like one of the goats that I could like that's kinda like similar to me. And that's popping right now that's gonna get me the attention that I need to feel me jump. Like I feel like going with one of them, you gonna get the best song, the most play, you get what I'm saying? Get the best shit. So I'll have to fuck with one of them. Yes, I sir. think that open the door for other artists to fuck with me and shit. Yes sir, everybody you said definitely a good selection. NBA Young Boy is definitely a baby goat. 
Lil Baby doing his thing. Dirk, yo, the voice of the streets, you get what I'm saying? And Yak, I feel like you and Yak is pretty much the same damn person. So I feel like everybody you said made sense. Absolutely. So tell me about this movement you got going on, this 400 movement. Explain it to me, man. All right, you already know this big 400 shit. You know what I'm saying? The 400, that's for the 1421, you know what I'm saying? That's for the 1421, feel me? That new brand nav shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the mafia. That's my little section, my little group, my little gang, my little site from where we from, you get what I'm saying? Like, cause we from New Britain now, there's other niggas that's from over there too, and even in our same area, you know what I'm saying? Even from Kenneth Street, we grew up on Kenneth Street and everything, on a different side of the streets, a different family unit over there. So like, that's our unit, feel me? 400, the mafia, you know what I'm saying? You really ain't even gotta be from the block to be 400, you get what I'm saying? We got a few niggas that ain't even grow up from the block. That's 400. They not from NBA, but they in 400. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Absolutely. What's your favorite song that you got out right now? Mm, my favorite song gotta be... I ain't been doing music in a minute for I'm about to get back to it. But my favorite song would have to be either 63 Grams or Side Bitch. But they two different type of songs because I'm like a... Right, right, Versatile right. Type of artist. I like side bitch and I like 62 grams. Not because I shot 62 grams, but that video is fire. Feel me, that song fire, but my favorite is Chase Me With a Gun. That shit. Uh, that shit, I don't really like it no more. I feel like it's a cool song, but I feel like that shit like dragged out. Like, I feel like it was kind of like long. And the video was just fire. Like, it looked like some shit that just. You get what I'm like, saying? Like, like it could have been better when I look at it now. Here, I'm like, damn, like, nah, I don't even really like that one. That one was hard, man. So, out of your cipher, who do you think is the hardest one rapping out of all of you? Oh, man, that's how you doing, nigga? Yes, sir. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick a couple of niggas then. Because, feel me? Base, feel me? Big bruh, base big 400 too, so, feel me? Bass the well right now, he got shit lit. Bass hard. Bass is one of the hardest niggas in the hood. Bass fire. But bass got like a um a different type of rap, you know what I'm saying? Now if I wanna like say like a uh, uh, like a uh, like a uh, I don't know like a uh, a rap like 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 my style more or whatever, I'ma probably have to say 80 or Stizzy Dope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say, hey, this Dizzy Dope. The gay probably gonna be mad, but them niggas got a little, they got versatility and they got swag with they shit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, they shit is like, they could switch they shit up and they shit be fire. You know what I'm saying? I be telling them, I feel like they be playing they stuff too much. They just be pranking instead of really doing their shit and putting their shit out there. But I feel like 80 bands and Stizzy Dope. They, 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 they big fire in the game, and Fuego base up next, so feel me? It depends on what type of rap you like. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. So, facts. Feel me? Personally, I like 80. You feel me? Because 80 got the motherfucking, he got that young nigga, like, his shit different. And then, of course, the whale. The whale, ain't nobody fucking with the whale. You feel me? But... Bucks, feel me? Bucks got the energy, you feel me? And then this, it's like, I don't know, like Smacky, he he got that shit with him, you feel me? Like, what he he start jumping on them beats, he start, uh -oh. he start twitching, uh -oh. yeah, 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 shit start twitching, you get what I'm saying? But, facts, it's like, a bunch of nah, but B, but, but, but listen, nah, but B and Lurax, you get what I'm saying? Them niggas make the pain music. You know Yo, what I'm saying? that's what I'm saying. It depends on your yeah. shit. Yo, it depends yeah. on But they don't make the they music is like like bass. More, you get what I'm saying? They got it like, is in a way. Like but the I beats feel like, and stuff that they choose and yeah. like the energy of it, you get what I'm saying? The yeah. way that they like delivering is more like uh feel me like a Oh, uh, like a conscious rapper type of, you know what I'm saying? More like they saying shit that, feel me, really like mean shit and shit. 80 and motherfucking Stiz is like trying to swag the beat and just like harmonize with it and shit. You get what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying like they got versatility like versus like me and like 
a few of us, even like bass and stuff, like we all, our music is all around the same type of shit. You get what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. that, whatever we do, whatever our music is, that's our box. With Stiz and with 80, is like not really a box with them, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you're trying to say like who the hardest, I would have to say them because I feel like they could do more more switching shit than us. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Okay. Facts. That, that, that was a good combo right there. Like, facts. Well, well, yeah. Well put together. Is there anything that we should be looking out for this year, 2022, man? Like, what, 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 what is there anything that your diehard fans that you want to tell them right now that they this should be year, expecting 2022, this year? 2022, recording live right now for the first time. Be on the lookout for KOH, King of Hartford. I'm dropping that this year. I'm coming back on Big Homicide Hartford, feel me? King West said he tapping in with the camera and shit too. You already know the well and then he back home, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's supposed to be around, back around. We about to do that shit this year, feel me? Be on the lookout for the closing line that I'm doing. Big motherfucking Uncle Homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. And shout out, I got sponsored by a closing line, Big Colbert. Shout out to them, they got some fire, gassy shit. You know I me? Mean? Covert 2021, they litty. But watch out for Big KOH, King of Hartford, motherfucker. I'm back on my shit. I gave you motherfuckers some time. I get, yo, 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 yo. I gave all you motherfuckers a bunch of time, nigga. Y'all had all this time to sit on my throne, motherfucker. I let all y'all niggas have all the time to sit on my throne. What the fuck y'all do? What y'all do? Y'all niggas said y'all was fucking better than me, right? What the fuck happened? Y'all niggas ain't go nowhere, motherfucker. Y'all still at the same spot where I seen y'all niggas at. Only motherfucker jumping up is this nigga right here, motherfucker. Fuck wrong with y'all. Watch this. King Bucks, I'm coming back on my shit, taking over the hood. Let's go. Uh, what I said? What I said? He the fucking well, and I'm the half of y'all to go, bitch. Now. Where can we find you on social media, bro? Yeah. Find me on social media at Starbucks, S T A R R B U C K Z, one, four, two, one. The gangway, you heard? Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on IG. Yeah, I got a motherfucking Facebook page. Starbucks on every fucking thing, nigga. Google my shit, nigga. If you can't find me, Google Star fucking Bucks the rapper. My little son, that nigga, eight years old, you know what he do? You go, uh, Starbucks the rapper, motherfucker. That's all you gotta do to find me, nigga.